The Fed Now CBDC program starts July 1st. Is this the end of your financial freedom? Or can you empower your freedom to choose? Because an alternative does exist. What's up, fam? It's Mr. Beckman here with Infinite TV. And in this video, I'm going to be reminding you how the FedNow Central Bank Digital Currency Initiative starts July 1st. I'm going to show you the evidence and data so that you can be empowered with your freedom to choose because an alternative does exist. So first of all, I'm going to be showing you the evidence that what I am saying is in fact true. In less than 40 Four-ish days from the recording of this video, the central bank digital currency technology goes live here in the United States. I'm going to be showing you what the Federal Reserve is saying about it, what mainstream media is saying about it, and what you really need to know so that you can empower yourself. Check it out. There was a press release. You can see here I'm on the federalreserve.gov website, March 15th, this year, 2023. The Federal Reserve announces July launch for the FedNow service. The Federal Reserve announced that the FedNow service will start op operating in July and provides details on preparations for launch. So what is this service? They are saying that this service is going to allow banks to do instant transfers to each other. However, it is specifically designed to allow the central bank digital currency initiative to begin here in the United States of America. Now, to be clear, the government and the mainstream media news sources are telling you this is to make it easier, safer, faster, and more secure because you obviously need a safer solution now that banks are collapsing. And now that cryptocurrency exchange like FTX are collapsing and you're losing your money. So obviously you need a safer solution, right? Well, a lot of people are pushing back big time online and I've got something being shared right now by the front runner of the presidential Democratic Party for the presidential election here for 2024. The front runner now, the leader in the polls is actually Robert F. Kennedy Jr. And I've got what he has to say about the central bank digital currency program here for you after I show you the, the next articles I've got for you here. So check out the mainstream media news approach to this. Long awaited Fed digital payment system to launch in July. So long awaited by whom? You got to ask yourself, who's paying these mainstream media news corporations to write these articles? Have you been awaiting for a long time them to digitize your dollar for you to lose all of your anonymity when you're making your purchases and potentially for them to even be able to control what money you get to keep, what you get to use it on, how long you get to have it for, and ultimately your freedom? It's a great question you need to be asking yourself right now. In my opinion, these big mainstream media news sources here in the United States, <clears throat> I'm Canadian, an international citizen. I'm an investor here in the United States. I've traveled to a few places. I've lived in a few places. And for the most part, the mainstream media news in the United States, regardless of what political side one is on, is clearly seen as propaganda that's paid for by their big corporate donors and sponsors. Um, you can you know, leave a comment below and let me know what you think is really going on. But in general, as an international citizen, it's known that most mainstream media is really just beholden to their advertisers. So my opinion, the federal government here tells them, hey, write something positive about it. Okay. Here's another article I've got here for you on fortune.com. Once again, just verifying that this FedNow system is in fact coming online July 1st. What the instant payment service could mean for a digital dollar and stable coins. So here are the pros of having your physical US dollar. Right now, you could keep it wherever you want. No one knows what you've got, how much you're holding on to. Number two, you can spend your physical dollars wherever you want with total anonymity. You're anonymous when you're spending your US dollars. No one can track you. No one knows what you're buying, uh, when you bought it, or what you've got with your money. But it, with a digital dollar, they would be able to see exactly what you have. They'll be able to know exactly where you're using it. And the real concern, because this has come out that most of these countries are including this, is that the dollar, the central bank digital currency dollars will be programmable. So that means they could turn on or off your access to your money. Now, obviously, the reasons these governments are giving for the central bank digital currencies are the banks are currently collapsing. They could now more strictly police terrorism. They could now more strictly police crime. 
And obviously, always these plans that are to make you safer use examples that are completely reasonable. Of course, you and I don't want more terrorists getting access to money and committing horrible acts. Of course, we also don't want criminals to be able to use dollars for money laundering or to commit acts of crime. But when big government makes decisions to make you safer, but ultimately it could also police you more so, restrict your freedom and control you more so, that's when you need to be aware, you need to be alert, you need to take action, and you need to empower yourself with the alternative solutions. So check it out. Here we have another article pulled up, the Central Bank Digital Currency Tracker. So if you didn't know that this program is already coming online, the beginning technology that's needed to implement implement this solution countrywide, now you know. But did you also know that a number of other countries have agreed to do this? In fact, most of the central banks around the world, the central banks that control the fiat currencies of the various countries have agreed to do this. Well, check it out. I found this amazing site here on atlanticcouncil.org forward slash CBDC tracker. This shows you uh, using a map all the different countries that have already agreed and where they're at. So it shows us here that 11 countries have already launched the central bank digital currencies and it shows us which ones have already launched them. It shows us which 18 countries not only are about to launch, but are already piloting the technology. So that means like the CBDC July 1st Fed Now technology that's coming online here shortly, less than 45 days from the recording of this video here in the United States, this shows us which countries are already piloting piloting the technology. So just to show you what that means, you can see here the Ukraine, you can see here Sweden, you can see here India, you can see here Saudi Arabia, you can see here Iran, Kazakhstan, pardon me, it's not letting me get on here, Russia, Thailand, Hong Kong, I did that in a little bit of a reverse order, this was obviously Hong Kong, this is obviously Thailand, Singapore, Malaysia, Australia, South Africa, Nigeria is in the launched phase already. It's already launched. Ghana. Where is it already 100% live? The Eastern Caribbean, the Bahamas, and Jamaica. And then it goes ahead to share with us the countries that are in development of it. United States, Canada, Mexico, or sorry, this is Belize, Haiti, Venezuela, Brazil, Mauritius, too many for me to show you right now. Pretty much all of Europe, the United Kingdom, Norway, Tunisia. Research, inactive, canceled. And it shows us right now that only two countries in the whole world have canceled it, Ecuador and Senegal. So what does this mean? This shows you here, and I've scrolled down so you can see the key findings. I'll zoom in a little bit more so you can see it better. It says 114 countries representing over 95% of the total global GDP are exploring a central bank digital currency. So if you have concerns with the level of control that will be over your money, if all of your money was converted into the central bank digital currencies of your country, then and now is the time to take action and educate yourself so that you can empower yourself with alternatives. And there are alternatives. If you click the link below this video, sign up at Infinite TV for the premium uncensored membership, then you will be the first in line to get access to the first closed exclusive private beta program of the i2 financial solution which is launching shortly but only for a closed private beta and only to the infinite tv premium members the i2 financial solution is 100 percent secured 100 percent insured solution for your money and it presents you an alternative to the central bank digital currencies moving on so part of the backlash that the central bank digital currencies have received are from people like robert f kennedy jr and right now it's my understanding at the recording of this video he is currently leading the democratic presidential election race for 2024 here in the united states of america now they're, the Democratic Party has announced they're not going to be doing any televised debates currently. Rather, they're producing an edited video of Joe Biden showing what he's done thus far in his current administration and why they want you to elect him again for the next presidential election. Now, 
I'm Canadian. I don't get involved in politics. I fully support whichever decision you make to vote with. I was raised as a liberal in a socialist country. What I can tell you is that more than 90% of my investments right now to empower American contractors, American businesses, and American service providers are made here in the United States because I love the constitutional republic that the United States is founded on. I love how over the last 247 years, the United States has made real the American dream. And so that regardless of which country you're originally from, you could immigrate to the United States legally, you could start your business, or you could get a job and you could live the American dream, which is pretty much around the entire world. Humans want to live a safe, healthy life, and they want, want to provide a safe life for their children. That's really it. And they also do not want to have a ceiling on their freedom and what they could achieve with their wealth and their abundance. The United States of America right now has been the forerunner in being able to provide that to humanity. It has helped more people achieve the dream of life, which is now known throughout the whole world as the American dream. And there are reasons why that's only been possible here in the United States of America. And they have to do with the Constitutional Republic, which is based on the United States Constitution, which allows for freedom of speech and prevents really governmental tyranny in a big way. So check out what Robert F. Kennedy Jr. had to say about the coming central bank digital currency program here in the United States that goes live here on July 1st. The Fed just announced it will introduce its FedNow central bank digital currency in July. CBDC's Grease the slippery slope to financial slavery and political tyranny. While cash transactions are anonymous, a CBDC will allow the government to surveil all our private financial affairs. The central bank will have the power to enforce dollar limits on our transactions, restricting where you can send money, where you can spend it, and when money expires. A CBDC tied to digital ID and social credit score will allow the government to freeze your assets or limit your spending to approved vendors if you fail to comply with arbitrary dicta dictates. He uses here a specific example, which I cannot say out loud, or the AI algorithm could very well uh, affect this video. The Fed will initially limit its CBDCs to interbank transactions, but we should not be blind to the obvious danger that this is the first step in banning and seizing Bitcoin, as the Treasury did with gold 90 years ago today in 1933. Watch as governments, which never let a good crisis go to waste, use this uh, former event and the banking crisis to usher in a new wave of central bank digital currencies as a safe haven from germ-laden paper currencies or as protection against bank runs. So Robert F. Kennedy Jr., what he just said right now is that governments use a problem reaction solution method of marketing to get their general populations to agree to something. So you have the problem, like let's say the, uh, the pandemic, there's a reaction, things are scary, things can be transmitted, and then there's, there's a solution that the government wants to ultimately share with you. Now, I'm not, you know, no one's saying here whether, you know, what level of involvement governments had in these things, but they'll definitely take good advantage of the problem and your reaction to give you a safe solution. Now, it's up to you to decide whether or not you really think these central bank digital currencies are safe or not, or whether the level of control that they will have over your money is something you want or not. Now, you can leave a comment below. Within my infinite uncensored premium members only content, I share with you a lot more data and a lot more information that I'm not able to put here on YouTube. All right. So, However, now it's really important though that you know that there is a solution available to you and it is the infinite I2 solution which provides you an alternative to central bank digital currencies. So now what Robert F. Kennedy Jr. accurately said here is that the first launch of the FedNow CBDC program is said to only allow for this interbank operability, banks to be able to instantly send payments back and forth, because that's what the blockchain allows right now. You could send monies to someone 
instantly on the blockchain. It's easy, it's fast, and it's secure. So check out the link in my bio, sign up for the premium uncensored infinite TV membership, and you'll be the first to gain access to the closed private beta of the i2 financial solution, which will provide you an alternative to the CBDCs. Should you choose to move money into your i2 account, it will not be automatically converted to the central bank digital currencies. You could choose to instantly buy gold, instantly buy silver, instantly buy Bitcoin or instantly buy the Zadkill token. It's totally up to you what you want to do, but it's important that you know you're currently empowered with an alternative solution. If you like this video, please do not forget to hit the like button. Please comment, please subscribe and turn your notifications to all. Otherwise, the algorithm will not recognize this video as being watched. It will not recognize it's of value. It will not show it to you even if you subscribe to this channel and it, the algorithm will prevent us from getting shared and getting more traction on this critical information right now that people need now more than ever. If you found this of value, take, a take two seconds, please, to like it, comment, below. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure your notifications are sent set to all. And even better, after commenting and liking it, share it somewhere else. That way, the YouTube algorithm will know that you care about this content, that you like this content. And even over time, as I make these videos, it'll start recommending this content to more people so that we can spread this really critically important information in a timely manner, and people can be empowered with the solution. That is the I2 Infinite and Zadkill financial solution. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Mr. Beckman, and remember, if you want the straight goods, my completely uncensored information, make sure to go to Infinite TV today. The link is right below the video. Be well, much love.